mode uh, or chill days just after the kill, the kill and skill days it just gives me like a relief like <sighs> i am done it gives me a sense of accomplishment and and basically just a reward like i i spent these two days or three days killing going after it now i have friday saturday sunday or thursday night friday saturday sunday just to chill and it just Relax, gives me, it just gives me more family time more time to spend with our pets and our animals and more sleep it also helps out with my sleep too. You know. so let me break 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 it all down for you i never give it up i never you know give i'm gonna take take taking that crown from you i worry about you so let me break 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 it all down for you i never give it up i never you know give i'm gonna take take taking that crown from you I What's up, freaks? Welcome back to the Breaking the Cycle podcast. <laughs> Today we're going to be discussing the perfect, most productive, most efficient lifestyle freak formula that we implement in our, our everyday, everyday lives. lives. And it's something that if, if kids can implement and grasp and con- the concept of that we do or that I do and I do it with clients, I do it with coaching clients, that there's no reason anyone out there also can't do it in some way, no matter what kind of lifestyle they have. And it's called what? The Kill, Skill, Chill. Skill, Kill, Chill. And I have a full... Kill. Kill, Skill, Chill. Oh, I thought you said Skill, Kill, Chill. Kill, Skill, Chill. And I have a full episode of the Steve Eggers Show podcast where we go in depth into it. So we're not really breaking down so much what it is here. We're just going to give you like the one minute overview of what it's about. If you want to go deeper into it, just go on the Steve Eggers Show podcast and we'll tell you all about that. So... Before we get kickstart, why don't you guys tell me, what is this, just this Breaking the Cycle, the BTC episodes, this show, what is it all about? Breaking the Cycle is a podcast on how to be a positive role model and lead your freak family by breaking the cycle and changing the trajectory of your family tree so that you become the type of man your son would want to become and the type of daughter, I mean, and the type of man your daughter would one become day Become the to type marry. of daughter. I want, I want to become the type of daughter. No. These are the types of conversations you should be having with your kids so that they can learn to think for themselves and are not afraid to be themselves when they're confronted with these life situations and they are not in shock so that they will have an idea on how to approach it. All right, so we're going to... Splendid. Gonna, first off, <laughs> splendid? <laughs> Wasn't that funny. Jeez. Jesus. Who's been using this microphone of mine? Oh, oh, our mother. What are all these scuff marks? What is that? What? Feel she like likes... White scuff marks? Like she, it's been she, smashed with like a hammer or Yeah, something. you see, she likes tasting her microphone. Does she... They we play taste. baseball with it or something? Uh, yeah, she talks about sports a lot on her show. Oh, I bet. I've seen it. There's no sports <laughs> talking about it. That wasn't that funny either. This sucks. Anyway, it's like your flashback of your birthday. Yeah. All right, so Kill, Skill, Chill. You guys a are quick, so mean. A quick overview of Kill, Skill, Chill. You want me to do it or one of you have a quick way to break it down? Just a real quick in like what couple sentences. What it? How, what is the overall idea of Kill, Chill, Skill? Actually, is? before we get into it, who wants a starting joke? No, I'm going to do a starting joke. Hey. I'm pretty sure last episode you started off with a joke. So I'm going to go. You're pretty sure? Okay. okay, so the joke is, why did Mickey Mouse go to space? Hey, I had that joke. You stole it from me. Uh, too late. What was, the, what was the joke? I know the answer to it. Why okay. did Mickey Mouse go to space? You're not getting this. Because Tyson mouseketeer. stole it from me. He's a mouseketeer. He's a Mickey Mouse. Greatest place on earth. Sick. Uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Give That's me a, it's something to do with the. Midge is like should be fired from the keyboard. The, I, yeah. The hand is that? one of the characters. He was something for one of the characters. He was looking. Why for, did he go to space to f- to, to find, find one of the find characters? Pluto. Yes. That's impossible. Al- you, get, you get half a half a Albert point. Einstein. Alvin, Alvin Einstein. You get half a, no, no, out. you get a, a, a All right, so Kill, Skill, Chill, I'll break it down of what it's all about. So Kill, Skill, Chill is just different types of days or if you need to, different types of parts of your day. Kill is when you're just going after, you're doing the deep work, 100X type work where you're going and doing the hard impact making, income making work, like the biggest stuff. Like right now, this is technically kill time for us. Recording this is kill time. Skill time is when you're doing the 
the practice of it, like preparing for this was our skill time. When we had a meeting, your team meetings, your family meetings, your office meetings, or studying, learning, preparing, practicing, all would be your your skill time stuff. And then chill time is just chilling, hanging out. But it doesn't just mean... Playing video games all day. It, and we're going to go into examples of all those that we do for each <laughs> of those three. But the chill is basically you can't... You're going to have do better at your kill time when you have a little bit amount of skill time and a good amount of chill time. But there is absolutely no chill, chill time without, the, without kill. the kill. There's absolutely no chill without the kill. You, you got to earn, earn the you, chill. You need to earn exactly. it. Exactly. And then there's you no and kill I was without the thinking chill. the same thing. And then man. the skill kind of bridges the gap between the two of them because, uh, and we're not going to break down, but you get the overall idea of it. The three different types of days that we have, and we break down our days and our weeks according to this. So if you want the details and deeper details on that, go watch the Steve Eckert go show check out the Steve Eckert podcast, podcast where we talk about that. Plus, there's a full course we have on that and we do talk about in that co- our coaching program, the, the Freak Father Alliance. So go check it out. All the time. But let's let's break these down. I want to know, check over my notes here of the questions I have for you two. When it comes to kill, skill, chill, I want you to give me, and who's going to go first? Me. Mid's going to go first. Ladies first. Ha <laughs> ha. I want to give... All right, enough of that creepy laugh. It's very creepy. All right, I want you to give me examples of kill, skill, and chill. What examples of kind of describe what each type of day does for you personally? Like, how do you, what does it mean to you? What does it do let's, for let's you personally? Yay. What do you get out of that type of day? I want you to break all, right. all three down, or should we just, she, she'll do her kill. Let's just do our kill first. So, Midge, go first. And then I'll yeah. skill and then chill. So, okay, but let, so we, don't good. forget, we're keeping this on, on a tight time. So, Let's make it, Miz could so, go off on tangents. Kill, I tend to not have the best focus. And um, Kill also helps me get work done. So later in the day in, or in the week, I have more free time. And be, it helps me get more work done in a much like more condensed time. So... I, of course, I do focus. Kill time lets me get into more of like a flow and it... It, may, it lets me ha- get more work done in a less amount of time, so I don't really have to worry about focusing because kill time is just like a flow mode. At, or as in last episode, we talked about Craig Ballantyne, his magic time. It's our freak flow, our freak focus flow time. Yep. And so awesome. So basically, you're if you didn't have a kill time where it's like, all right, this is my dedicated kill time, and you just had like, all right, I'm going to do work every day, what you're saying is you're getting more done in that less amount of kill time than you would have if you would have worked every day on the same type of you're stuff. You're like probably. hunting mice instead of taking breaks, and then like kill time is like hunting time. If you kill every single day, then you're only going to catch mice. But if you have your skill time and your chill time, then eventually you're going to start catching bigger things like lions or woolly mammoths or blue whales. You're stealing my analogies that we talked about on the show but definitely uh-huh. it, but it just shows you grasp you the concept well. of it that you understand the concept which is cool all right tyson what's what what is the kill time do for you personally like for not like examples of what you do yet we'll get to that but just yeah. what does it do for you personally the kill so, time? so kind of like what midge said but i'm gonna go in a little more in depth so like for example if i worked 60 70 hours a week on like something i can get three times more work done in two times less time so like in half the time in half the time yeah so like working 30 two times less two, I, it's cause I Give wrote that <laughs> stop stop no last episode what I, he got six he got and six under things. 20 just what six I had things in 17 minutes wow was, he, it's been we're seven two minutes times in less time. his first thing two times less time I like that stop. he should get stop. two times a ding for that so Say, two times so less you're getting <laughs> twice, same as she said, twice as much work in less time. Why do you, why, what does that, what does that do for you personally? Why do you care to even do that? Who cares? So, for me, it was focus. Say instead of working five or six days, I'll work two and a half days, which is Tuesday, Thursday, and kind of Monday or Wednesday. And mix it in. I'll get three times the amount of stuff done due to skill and chill days. And Wednesday, yeah, when we have our certain days and Wednesday is only... Wednesday is a skill chill day unless we're it's a recording week then it's kind of a, a skill kill, kill day. Chill. But why why is it like important to you? What's like specific about it that helps only you? Like, what is it doing exactly? What is it like why, me, what does that mean to you focus. to be to have that? To have that time that half the more work done and half the time she needs it to help her with her focus cuz she's not focused out the day. What do you need it for personally? I had not know what the answer is for you but you should know your own answer. Oh. I procrastinating? 
Oh, that's a good one too, but that's not even what I was thinking. Because like procrastinating is a big thing, and I've been getting better at it. That's not even what I was thinking, but you've been improving. Why do you want to get more done in less time? So that so that I have more time to because you because you want to freaking chill is what it is. Everybody wants to chill. No, but he is like uh, I'm the king of chill. He always he's the master he's after the chill. Like he will. He will do a million times work on kill time. Just to get like just to five get, minutes No, to get, no, because then that'll give you double it because you know well, it's going to give you more cool. chill time. So you'll get like a week's worth of work done in like a half a day so then you can chill basically as much as you want. Like you control your own freedom and your own destiny. So for me, it's a little different. Kill time, you would think chill time is the one that makes you relaxed and whatever else, but it's not really this, that way for, for me really. The... Kill time gives me less stress because I know that I have that time on my calendar and that space and that time where I'm going to get so much important stuff done. So I don't have to stress about not getting stuff done because I know in that kill time, it's so focused. It's so deep. We're getting so much done that actually you would think that kill time is like stressful time, but it's not for me. Because it's, you don't need kill throughout the week. It's just that one and time. I know, that and I get. know it's going to be such high level, high quality work. It's going to be so focused. I have nothing to worry about. I know it's covered. So it makes me have less stress. And then also the other thing on top of that, it makes me feel accomplished. Like when we're done with kill time, it's like, I feel accomplished. Like we completed so much. Just yesterday, we did so much. We had a mini little kill kill night. Freak night. Freak night at the end of at nighttime. And I just feel so freaking accomplished when I get all that shit done that it's like leaves you with less stress knowing that you did all this. And it's like, like, ah, like you could take a on breath. Your, everything on your task list, like you have so many things and you know that once after you're done working those like there's something, five or six hours, everything's going to be done. And satisfying is also the word. It's like satisfying. satisfying to have these like big projects on your task list and then just to pluck them and check them off. It's like, I, yeah. Yeah. And to oh, go yeah. along with, like you say, it relieves your stress. Because our whole family, our whole family, you know, like goes and lives by these rules, our whole family knows that this is kill time, so nobody interrupts you. So if you're looking into doing something like kill, skill, chill like us, then make sure to bring your family along for the ride so maybe you could relieve stress out of it. And we know, it also, the other thing now that I'm thinking about, the whole idea of kill, skill, chill gives you gives us direction for the week. Like we know what the flow of the week's gonna look like. We know how exactly way more structured, but way more that's, much it's free. free. That's why free. we have our weekly meetings. Weekly on meetings that we we break it down and we say which days are what. All right, so now let's freedom still needs structure. That's the kill. Let's go to skill. Okay. What's what does the skill okay. personally mean to you? We have to keep this quick because we still have to go back around for how we what we actually do on those days. Yep. Okay. So skill to me means like I have, like, it helps me gain knowledge. Like, skill time could just simply be reading a book. It helps me gain knowledge. It helps me learn so that I have better, I have a better time working in kill time because I have a better idea of what I'm going to be doing in kill time because in skill, I learn about what I do and in kill, I actually implement it. So skill time helps me learn and it makes me more aware of what I'm doing. You know, it makes me have a better flow of my work. So it's like a setup, a warm up to the kill time. Exactly. How would you, Tyson? What do you, So, what my, does skill time do for you personally? Not using, for me personally, it's not using my kill days for doing like skill, for doing like skill work, like gun or knife time. Like say cleaning knives or reading books. I'll get sometimes more reading or studying done on skill days. So I don't take the time of doing that on like kill days. Because in our old, time in our old schedule on Thursday, I would do that skill type work on what was supposed to be like a kill day where I'm supposed to be getting work done. So I'd waste an hour, hour and a half doing that kind of stuff when I could just shift it over to Wednesday or Monday. So I, it's just saving time. And keeps you more focused on the kill yeah. time because mm-hmm. you're not distracted bouncing from one type of work to the next. Like it's all like the high level stuff. And it stuff. also doesn't steal your kill time. And because- and it also gives time for me to clean up and organize so I don't waste time on kill or chill days. So it's setting the table. It's getting prepared. Yeah, like like so- I told you about your desk. Like 
even though it was a kill day coming up and your desk wasn't as organized as it could be, I said, but don't even do it tomorrow. You need to be doing it on the skill day, technically, or even a chill day if you just have to clean up a desk, whatever, so that it's ready when it's go to time to kill time. It's like, boom, it's like ready to go to war, like ready to go to work. Skill time is also like used to not steal time out of your kill or your chill because if you already have your kill or chill set, like you said before, when you're like talking about what kill, skill, chill means, skill is kind of like the bridge between it. What It's what connects them if you already have your kill and your chill days set and that's what they are you can't bring them into other days skill is the only one that can it's kind of what he was just saying so yeah this the skill is like the bridge in between them that makes sense i like it for me the skill is just like you guys said to be is like the practice and prepare time but what it does for me personally it gives me confidence and courage because once if i sit there on the skill time and i'm doing research and studying and learning new things and reading a book and doing some reading about a a leadership or whatever it is, or even preparing for this episode. Like we prepare for this episode on my skill time. I prepare for this episode on the kill time. We're actually implementing what we practiced on the skill time. So it gives me confidence and courage to jump into what we're doing because I know exactly what I'm doing. Or say I'm going to, we're out of Operation Black Site. He's wearing a Black Site shirt. I'm going to teach the morning workouts. If I just, and that's a kill activity, like in front of 30 high level individuals that paid a ton of money to be there. They flew from other countries and across the country. And I'm sure up there for the workout. That could be a lot of pressure and a lot of stress. But I go in there with confidence and courage because I spent the time on my skill time to prepare it, to prepare for if there's one person there or a hundred people there, if they're beginners or advanced, that everything is covered. I have everything prepared. I have modifications and, and, all kinds of adjustments that could be made. I know exactly what we're doing, how much time we're spending where, how I'm going to show it, and all what, what the exact flow of the whole thing is. That was all done on the skill time, learning and practicing and preparing. So it gives me the confidence and courage to then be able to just go into the kill time all out, where I don't have to be stressed about it. And it's not going to, same thing you said, the skill time is going to make it's not gonna me, affect me. It's not going to affect me. It's not going to take away from the kill time. I can just go straight kill mode and have fun and be myself and crack jokes because I'm not stressed about all the other stuff because I did the due diligence in the skill time and was prepared for it. And you said like during the workout at Black Site. So in skill time, you could prepare speaking in front of a crowd because speaking, the public speaking is one of is the number one fear in the world. So even if it's just in front of your family, if you have a fear of public speaking, but you want to make a difference in an impact in the world, you could even just, for instance, in front of your family, just let the, have them listen because... If uh, even in a workout with only a couple people or maybe 30 people, like you said, there are there are like sometimes even 40, you need to speak in front of them. And sometimes people can get cold feet and they don't want to speak in front of them. And the speed and the talk might be a 45 minute or 60 minute talk. That's another thing. The kill time is such a short amount of time. And the skill time leading up to that, you were I have a I'm speaking at Bader's event in September. I've already started preparing and practicing for that in September. We're in freaking May. And I already am putting wow. the slides together, doing the wow. skill, the skill work for months. So when it's time to go to the kill, it's like you're ready, I'm you're gonna prepared. fucking blow it out of the water when it's time to get there. You have all your stories and and lessons and jokes and slides. You're and not your, just gonna kill flow. it, you're gonna destroy it. You're gonna freaking kill. All right. So we got that down. Let's go into chill. 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 My favorite chill category. Mode. Chill mode. We gotta keep this rolling. So Chill mode. What is what does chill mode do for you personally? Let's go, Tyson. Let's go first. Okay. Wait, can we start like? What, what does chill in? mode do for you personally? All right. So chill mode uh, or chill days. Just after the kill, the kill and skill days, it just gives me like a relief. Like I am done. It gives me a sense of accomplishment and and basically just a reward. Like I I spent these two days or three days killing, going after it. Now I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, just to chill, and it just Relax, gives me, it just refocus. gives me more family time, more time to spend with our pets and our animals, and more sleep. It also helps out with my sleep too. Yeah, that's a huge one. That I didn't even think of it does. It probably makes you sleep yeah. better because you just are like nothing to think about, Actually, nothing to worry about. That. We don't even on chill days. We don't even set an alarm. We don't have to set like today was a partially because we were up late last night. We didn't even set an alarm. You get up when we get up to make sure we get enough sleep. So that's a perfect one right there. Midge, what about you? What's your chill? What does chill time do for you personally? It helps me like, so 
after I focus in kill time and after I learn in chill time, I mean, after I learn in skill time, sorry, chill time is like a time for me to refocus. And if I don't, if without chill and play time. With, and play with toys. In chill time, it, it, it makes me have fun. So it lets me have fun. So if without chill time, if I didn't have chill time, I would most likely be miserable in skill and skill because I'm not having enough fun and I'm not enjoying myself. So fun so is, it's is like a huge that word. Break. You need fun. People forget to have how to have fun. Adults especially forget how to have fun. I think I have a good amount of fun for a, an adult. I'm kind of like just a overgrown. You spend kid. enough time with overgrown your kids. kid. Just an overgrown kid. <laughs> That, that whatever like fun we need to have fun we have fun every freaking day here we have fun on this show for me that the chill time is is like a double-edged sword we're good it's like a double-edged sword the chill time like at one cent on one side it's like all right i know that i earned it so i feel good because i earned it by doing that high level just kill work but then so that's the one side of the sword of, of chill time like the one bonus but then on the other end of it it's like all right this is also when i'm chill time i know a kill day is coming up soon it makes me focus so much more on the kill day because I know like, holy shit, I just took like a day or two off of chilling. So when I go to do kill work, it's going to be even better kill work just because I'm putting that pressure on myself like, damn, you just took two days off. You better go all out on the on the kill day. So first, it's like an earned thing that is a relief, like you said. But then on the other end, it also makes me have more pressure on the kill day, which gives me better work. So I like putting pressure on myself. I like to weaponize my anxiety. So I put the pressure on myself to do even more because I know I just took time off. So it's like it makes you work better on the kill day because you know days are coming off and you need to earn it. So when you're doing a kill day, when you're doing a kill day, it makes you earn it and you work hard on the kill day because you know you're about to have a day off. And then when you're on a day off, you know like, oh shit, I'm on a day off. I better make up for this when I go back to the kill work. So on both ends of it, the kill work on both ends of the chill gets affected by the double-edged sword. Exactly, double-edged oh, sword. And one thing I forgot to mention was this whole kill, skill, chill thing, it also helps out with our workouts. We haven't taken a day off, me and you haven't taken a day off in over 860 days. Holy crap, I didn't know it was that many days. As of recording this, we haven't taken a day off in over 860 days. Congratulations! And- Woo! It's like a, a chill day is a, a, a an active recovery day, not just like the way you take active recovery from workouts. It's an active recovery day mentally. Yeah, definitely. All right, so really quick, if under twenty five is is fine. Really quick, let's go through each a quick version of it. What are some activities you do on kill day, Midge? Go. What are some things? Some activities I do on kill day. So. Actually, during Kill Day, me and Tyson come into your office, and we kind of sit there, create our own little mini offices. You have like a desk on wheels, like a small one. You have a couple chairs in here. We kind of set up our own mini cubicles, for the lack of a better word. We do and not work in cubicles in this We don't. We don't work in cubicles. This is not a cubicle. Use that word again. Mini you just office enter show. the war. You just come into the war room. We come into the war room. I the said room. for the lack of a better word. Yeah. So we we set up our own little like workspace. Workstation. Our workstation. own little workspaces, workstations, and we all ha- we all know what we're doing. We all have our own thing that we know we're going to do. We've planned on it. We've prepared on it through Skill Day. We've relaxed and regenerated on Chill Day. So now it's time to kill. And basically, I come into your office. I bring some of my books, my notebooks that I write in, my journal. I. Ever since my computer broke, sometimes I bring a different computer, my phone, and I just dive deep into my work. And that's when we're all in there, but there's also times on kill time when you need to kind of be by yourself so you can really go focus because when we do kill time together, there's like a 1% of it. It's kind of like while you're doing your work, you're in the flow. It's like that back and forth like banter, like the joking, the shit talking that will make jokes and we'll play some music. But that's, that's okay. I know, of course. I'm just saying, but we do both ways. We do it that way mm-hmm. and then also where sometimes yeah. it's like, all right, no, I got to do this by myself because I got to be really focused on this specific yeah. thing. But sometimes we're working on projects together, especially mm-hmm. like IFFF stuff or whatever. And we're in there going to kill time together. So we're all attacking it together. So while we're all working and slamming away, mm-hmm. there'll be like, jokes and little talking shit that some of us then start doing too much we're like speaking of jokes who wants to hear a we joke we don't have time for another one we already did one we did one today already yes yeah we oh, gotta grow all right all you want did you want to do a joke every time so tyson kill time what are some of your examples of what you do actually do in kill time so th- this was a couple months back back in like september october iff 
creating and building IFFs the start. together. And just, it was basically a kill month. Oh, we forgot to mention that you can have kill days, kill weeks, kill months, even because kill we can't. Years. There's so much we can explain about it if we want to yes. give, all give our examples. That's but why they could watch the episode. That's why you have a more yeah. in-depth episode. So, th- just some things that I do. IFF doing the VIP monthly release, which which we have coming out soon. It's probably already out now. The IFF membership site. If you guys want more info, just leave a comment down below. The IFF membership site. So just creating stuff like that, creating big projects, the big thing, doing creating pre-mades, creating new templates, creating new. And this is all for workouts. No one, yeah. we, we we know what pre-mades and templates yeah. means. If it oh, workouts. And- and that's if one of my anybody, things. If anybody who uses our IFFF program is listening to this, all those pre-made workouts were handmade. No, no AI, no nothing. Of course, we made those are all ourselves. part of the formula. So for for me, the same thing for for kill time is similar. It's like I put in building websites or building programs, creating stuff. That's when you're actually doing the work to create it, the deep work to actually create the stuff that you plan and prepared on the skill day. But also, it's things like this. That we're creating something right now. We're creating this podcast. So this is kill time. Also, when I go to be a guest on a podcast or I go to run an event in person like Blackside or the Project or the Squire program or Masogi or whatever, uh, we go around the country for leadership training for, for companies or I said, or doing my own podcast, recording my own podcast, recording content, recording sales videos. Like if I record a sales video for a, a website, for a sales page, that's kill time, getting that video actually done. But the skill time was preparing and planning what I'm going to say for it on that time. So that's the, the kill time. Let's go into real quick. What are some things you do on? Let's. We already talked about skill. We really said what we do on the skill yeah, time I, I already. Said, yeah, so let's just say, what it. are some things you do on skill time to wrap things up? Midge, go. Uh, chill day. Chill day. What do you do? Chill day. Sleep. Sleep. I day, sleep. day starts at noon. You know, I sleep in just a tad bit. Just and, a tad bit. And basically chill days, as long as we work out and get our daily non-negotiables done, like, you know, like daily debrief and all that good stuff, and read for at least 30 minutes, it, we have very important meetings with the couch. You can, They cannot be interrupted. Very important meetings. Couch and the three big 75-inch TVs that we all work together. And so the video game remote controllers. And, and that's the lower games. end of the chill time. That kind of, the chill days, that stupid time. But there still gets reading or maybe let's go outside and read a book, sitting outside mm-hmm. or play with the dogs a little or extra. Or play in the pool. What are, what are some of your chill so, things? So some of my things are playing with the dogs, spending more time with the dogs, spending more time with our animals, giving them more care and stuff. And of course, as Mitch said, meetings with the couch, Playing playing video games sometimes, but that doesn't happen in the sometimes, middle of the day. Sometimes, or, uh, it still happens at night. It still doesn't happen during the day. That's like still so much. That, it's like five p.m. mark is like then then it's time to ask. Hey, can, what you gonna be doing? What you gonna be, what you doing? Gonna be doing? When I hear that, the I know it's like the meandering. The meandering of hey, what you gonna be doing? So it's like the chill day is an active recovery day. Going for a walk, maybe a bike ride, working out extra long with extra stretching and just taking our time with it, not rushing. Yeah. yeah. Taking your time, taking your time. So a lot of the stuff we're doing on the other days, that like daily disciplines, like playing with the dogs or just going outside, going to the pool and the jack. I'm just saying with you the, the just stuff spend that I put. Extra time on those. And things. we're not rushing them. We're taking our time. Like other days, you only have a few minutes to go in the pool or the jacuzzi. But on chill day, it's like we're going in until we feel like coming out. Like there's no, no, nothing on the calendar that's pressing. Exactly. No important things on the calendar. So if we want to just chill stay day, in there, chill days. Because we like, put we put all of our plans into skill days. Because plans don't go on kill days either. Because kill is work time. So if we want to stay in the gym for three or four hours or we want to stay in the pool for three or four hours we want to play with the dogs three hours we don't stress it it's like when are you guys going to be done with that i don't know whenever whenever we're done like there's no ske- no real schedule we'll on that stuff we're done. but there's one little thing as long as we did all like you were starting to say all of our daily disciplines that get done every one of these days no matter what like your basic job and chore of like whatever and then the basic things you do like reading every day we still work out every day those kind of things still get done every day there's no, no matter, chill without that. No matter what kind of day it is. So I think that's a good breakdown of it. And it, uh, we went a little more, but we had to, to go over all these sections. And if you want even more details of, of how to break these days down, go check out the Steve Becker Show podcast. This is all about kill, skill, and chill. We we gave you what it meant to each of us personally. And then we gave examples of how we, what we actually do with those times. Just a few examples. Also, so perfect com- stuff. Let's, let's take them home. Comment right. down below who's examples you could relate to the most and possibly if you want how put your own examples yeah put your own examples of kill skill chill or and maybe your own lifestyle formula 
And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below. And like the video. And hit that notifications bell too. That's very reasonable. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below and hit the notifications bell and leave a like while you're at it. And we'll see you in the next one. Remember to comment. No excuses. You are freaking awesome. No excuses. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up. I never give it up. You know I'm take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you. I ain't never So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up. I never give it up. You know I'm take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you.